is my dream. And um, you're probably wondering why I look cracked out. It's because I wanted to show you, like so many other people out there, how I do my foundation routine. Because so many different people have different skin types. And me, I have oily, I have dry, I have acne, I have dark circles, and it's different for everybody, especially pale skin. And I'm having trouble finding a really light complexion with so many blemishes <laughs> to go by, a uh, tutorial to go by. So I thought I would share mine and how best it works for me. So we'll just get started. Um, first of all, you always want to start with a good moisturizer. This is Garnier Fruit Tees, and this is the last time I'll use this moisturizer. Like, as soon as this bottle runs out, I won't use it anymore. And I'll go ahead and tell you why. They have good products, but I am a, I am a devout animal activist, and some of their, not all of their products, but some of their products are tested on animals. And until they stop testing on animals, I won't use their products anymore. So as soon as this bottle's out, because I can't stand wasting, um, I will stop using their products. But today we're we're not wasting. Wasting is bad for the environment and the economy. So you just want to start out with a good moisturizer, and you want to like spread that all over your face, even if you have oily skin. And you might want to get a moisturizer that says. It's got some kind of SPF in it because the sun is really harsh lately. I mean, we've had in the news, we've had radiation advisories and heat advisories. Okay, now while it's drying, you can see my hair is all cracked out and over here and everywhere. Make for sure you keep your hair out of your face by using clips while you're doing stuff like this because if you don't, oils from your face will end up in your makeup and your makeup will get on your hair and your, it's, it's not good. So then you want to go with a, I highly recommend a primer, a foundation primer. This is Hard Candy's Sheer Envy and um, it's their skin perfecting primer in number 376. This is by Hard Candy. I love Hard Candy products. I use them almost constantly. You can pick them up at any Walmart. They're great products. And it says right on the back, on the label, that there is no animal testing. So to smooth out your complexion, it just helps a lot after your lotions dry. You're going to want to put about a dime size. For some people that might be too much, but I like to do my health face. But you want to make sure that you have, like, enough product for your face. But use that primer. And it really does make a difference. I went for years. I just recently started using it. It's about over a month ago. Probably more than that. Two, three months. And, um, it's, it totally changes how long my makeup lasts what it looks like after it goes on. I mean, I sweat all day going from class to class on campus and this keeps my makeup on. And if you notice, it already starts smoothing out your complexion. So after that's completely on, I have blemishes, I have dark circles. I have a lot of skin issues. So what I have found works best, and everybody will disagree. Most people are like, oh, use a lighter color, da 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 da. No. This is the e.l.f. all-in-one cover stick. Color stick? Cover stick? And it's actually a shade darker than what my skin normally is. 
and I found that it just work, works wonders. It don't roll out. Mine never has. It's never rolled out like it's supposed to. I think mine got broke in the <laughs> mailing or something, but I didn't care. I mean, Elf has great products. So, but this is their all cover stick, and I just take my finger. Always take your ring finger, especially for in under your eyes, because if you have dark circles like me, the rest of your fingers press down too heavy. Your ring finger is the one that gives the lightest press. So you want to just smooth and dab that on. And to cover up dark circles and blemishes, really go with a tone that's one tone darker than your skin. And you'll see that helps a lot. And also they have those liquidy uh, cover-up sticks. Mm -mm, no, I do not go for any kind of liquidy cover-up stick. I've tried them and I've tried them. And if it's liquidy, it just don't cover up very well. It don't stick very well or anything. So go with a thick cream. Trust me, I've had a lot of acne and under eye issues my entire life. It's, it really does make a huge difference. And you just take that and you cover up any blotches. And if it rolled up like it was supposed to, mine was just a fluke, but I like it anyways. And I'm not going to send it back just because, oh, it don't roll up. You know, no, I'm just going to use my finger and take care of it. I hate to waste. You could just dab it in those spots, which mine's rolled up a little bit so you can see it's dabbing on. But it's, I prefer to use my finger anyways. So just use it anywhere you think you have a blemish or something you want to cover up and again it's by L. they're all over cover stick and just gently smear that out and blend it in just a little bit not majorly because if you blend it in majorly it's just not going to work as much you know it just because when you got to put your foundation on it's just going to smear so, next you're going to want to take your favorite foundation. Me, I've used a lot of foundations. I prefer the drier liquids to the oilier liquids, especially in the summer months. You can feel those, they're more oilier. And, but this is L'Oreal's True Match. So, and it has an SPF in it. I'm big on the SPF because I'm pale. I don't want to burn. I don't want skin cancer. But most people use a foundation brush. You can do that every now and then I use a foundation brush. But I prefer, once again, to use my fingers. Always make sure that your hands are clean or you're just contributing to your acne. And so you take that and you dab it on your face and you start smoothing it out. And this L'Oreal, you, as you start smoothing it out, you'll start to feel it blending into your skin and drying into your skin fairly fast. Not like um, the oilier stuff, like uh, CoverGirl. CoverGirl's very oily, which I still use CoverGirl some, but you'll find it this soaks into your skin better and covers better than the oilier makeups that just sit on top. Also, these are the summer night, uh, the summer months and nights and all that. It, you want a drier foundation so that it'll just go and it'll stick better. And if you find spots that you need to add extra, go ahead. Just smooth that out. Okay. Now, once again, and most people are like, ah, don't do that, don't do that. I do that. So, you'll be able to see. Once again, we go back to our cover up stick because it's. It covers up your blemishes, it 
covers up everything. So you see, I still got a little bit of dark circle showing in under here. That's why I go back again sometimes. It's okay to put it over your makeup. There's no harm in putting on more cover up over your concealer. you get that done you're going to want to go to a handy dandy trusty pressed powder and this is once again hard candies uh, welcome mat is what it is and it is in color 287 it's their 287 it's their Matt, as you can see, I've used this a lot. I use it religiously. It's hard candy. It's awesome. Okay. So, you're going to use this to set your foundation. You just spread it all over your face. Now, if you feel like you have too much on, um, once you get done, if you feel like you have too much of the pressed powder on, you can always take a big fluffy brush and like back and forth swirls all over your face. Or to get it on, you can use um, a fluffy brush. I do that sometimes, especially because I'm not too big on the sponges. So they do carry bacteria sometimes, especially if they get wet. So you can always do the fluffy brush. It's just, I carry this. This is my go-to powder. I carry it around in my bag at school. So it's kind of hard to carry a big fluffy brush around with you everywhere. So, and also their their thing is cool. I like how did their thing, it goes in under here. And see there's a pocket in under here where it goes in a little mirror and the product's on top so it just works real well that way and once you're sure that you got everything covered up the way you want to you are done and this is my foundation routine nothing else no eyeliner no nothing but you see how it covered up most of my blemishes and my odd coloration. And, but after you're done, you know, you can unclip your bangs or whatever. And there you go. So, always remember that no one can love you before you learn to love yourself. And you are always beautiful. Bye.